my name is Sophie Walker. I'm here with How Did I Do? And we're at Hollywood Golf Club, home to the famous Rory McIlroy. We're gonna go and have a look inside, play a few holes, and just see how fantastic this place is. Check out this weather. I'm here on the fourth hole with Johnny Caron, General Manager at Hollywood Golf Club. This is uh, our fourth here at Hollywood. Um, as you can see, it's actually part three. Yep. Um, so we ideally want to stay away from the left-hand side. It's out of bounds on the left, but I'm just focusing on, is it the Belfast Lock? That's exactly it. It looks background. beautiful in this sunshine today. So the don't go left. It's high. Oh, <laughs> nearly went in. <laughs> great caddying, Johnny, real great caddying. So Johnny, I can hear the dockyard in the background. It shows just how close we are. Yeah, that's Harland and Wills. So it's only about 10 minutes away from the course. Um, you know, off the piece of history, that's where the Titanic was built. Amazing. Yeah. And what about this oh, this woodland over here? So this is Redburn Park. Um, this actual hole is called Redburn. Um, now where you just teed off from back up there, that's where the, the clubhouse used to be back in the oh, right. War. So yeah, we've come a long way since then. Yeah, this is one of the first golf courses, wasn't it? It in was, Northern yes, Ireland? that's right, yeah. Right, so now we're approaching the green. Don't like to say, but I've hit a some shot. Yeah, pretty nice one <laughs> over the well. flag. This is actually the captain's hole. So uh, had you ended up in any of the bunkers, that was five pound towards the uh, air ambulance charity. So oh well, I'm a well tight northerner, so I was never going <laughs> to part with my cash. Okay, let's see if I can uh, hold this for birdie. Oh. Just like the wee man himself, I bet Rory's birdied this hole the odd time, but I bet he didn't birdie it the first time he played, like I did. <laughs> From the fifth hole, a par five, 444 yards. Tell me about this one, Johnny. So it actually used to be a par four, so your tee box used to be just off the fourth there, but uh, we've recently enough extended it back, so uh, usually our whites will play from back here. Uh, you can see it's a dog left, uh, right to left, so just making sure you stay away from the trees there on that left-hand side. Stay away from the trees, yeah. stay away from the bunkers. That's the one. Should be easy. That looks like it should be all right, a little bit of right to left. Who put that there? You can't see these trees. Uh, well, you can see them off the tee, but they really do eat in more than it looks. And there's a cheeky internal out of bounds there. But I think I might just be able to play one under the trees and try and punch one down there. So here goes. It looks like you've invested both on and off the golf course. These bunkers look very nice. Yeah, over the last seven years, we've had uh, quite a bit of uh, investment, especially in the bunkers. These are all eagle bunkers here. Amazing, I'm, I'm big on my bunkers. I like them, <laughs> like them to be good. And obviously the clubhouse looks amazing. How's that affected membership? Yeah, uh, we're doing really well at the minute. We're up to 1,300 members now. Um, and that's across all the categories. Uh, probably the biggest category at the minute is our, our junior membership, which uh, I believe you're talking to Steve even later on about. How many members, juniors? 210. <laughs> it's outrageous. Yeah, yeah. yeah, interesting to see uh, how they're coping with that and the Rory McIlroy effect. But they've got restaurants and, and bars for people to come to as well. Yeah, it's a superb restaurant, great food. Uh, and we've actually four bars now when you include the, the, the new simulator bar as well. So uh, plenty, uh, plenty of activity in there. So what's your biggest social night of the year? What's the one that everyone's got to come to? Probably Captain's Day. Captain's Day, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's when, well is it, attended. Yeah, so. is it a weekend or just a day? Well, actually, this year was the first year that they went.
went to Friday and Saturday. Uh, Got to make the most of yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. It was attended well. So oh, it was brilliant. Friday night, yeah. Well, it always is a bit in Northern <laughs> Ireland. Right, I'm going to try and make birdie yeah. and uh, finish this hole in style. Best of luck. Thank you. My third shot to the par five. Wow, this is a slope. Ball is quite significantly above my feet, which I think is going to be pretty normal around Hollywood Golf Course. So let's see if I can get one close. Got a chance. I was researching about the golf club and asked questions and the first reply was the walk from the 9th to the 10th is hard work. You're seeing it now. Yes, yourself. indeed. So the, uh, the locals call it Heartbreak Hill for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> the view's worth it though, yeah? Exactly, you'll see from the top up okay. there. Okay. The 10th tee. What a view, Johnny. Yeah, it's perfect, isn't it? You can see the whole of Belfast. So you've got Belfast down this side, uh, all the way through to, you can drive up to Chance Causeway on the opposite side. So you can start your Northern Ireland trip at the airport and come here first? Yeah, we're literally 10 minutes away from Belfast City. Tell me what the, the Open, what the effect it had on you this year? Well, it was perfect because obviously a lot of people flying into Belfast. Um, our, our taxi drivers know this space quite, uh, quite well, so they were bringing everybody up, uh, taking them around, showing them the, the trophies. Uh, uh, we even had the Claret Jug on show here, so it's yeah. perfect for a tourist. Yeah, my taxi driver this morning called Rory the Wee Man. The so wee I think man, that's yeah. what he's known as, isn't it, that's in this exactly area? Yeah, yeah. yeah, but I mean, look at this. It doesn't matter how you play golf when you've got that behind you. So talk me through the 10th par three. It looks a little bit uphill. It is uphill. Um, we keep going uphill uh, for the next couple of holes. Uh, it's par three. You want to stay to the right of this side because the bank there will allow the ball to come down. Left, you're gone. And take extra club because you're tired after walking that hill. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Johnny. I'm going to complete the back nine by myself, leave you to get back to work. Thank you for all your help and showing me around. Thanks, mate. Thanks. 13th hole is famous for its views, but also for a young Rory McIlroy who struggled to hit it over the ditches when he was younger here. So I'm going to try and hit my second shot over the ditch. But what I want to say about Hollywood Golf Club is it's not just about Rory McIlroy. That might be what brings you here. But once you're here, the course is lovely. It's a nice little test. You can get around it quickly. And the people here are so friendly. Everybody is very proud of what Rory's done, but they're also proud of their golf club, which is great to see. Colin and David, both members at Hollywood. How many years have you been members, guys? Uh, it'll be 20 plus years. 20 plus years. And I only joined this year. Okay, well, what made you join? Um, I live in the area, and of course, it's the home of Rory McIlroy, and I wanted to get back into the game after 12 years being away from it. Okay, so any Rory stories? Um, I played against him as a kid. Did you beat him? No. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Less said about that, the better. Right, we're going to finish the 13th. All hit reasonably good shots in here. Let's see if we can make some birdies. That's me, finished my round. I really enjoyed it. Obviously, the weather was amazing. The views were spectacular, but I enjoyed the fact that you had to shape shots on the golf course. The ball was above and below your feet, got round pretty quickly as well. Interestingly, this 18th green has moved because of the developments behind me, which I can't wait to go and see. Not only did I have the gym and the swing studio, just look at that balcony. You can imagine that being really full on a summer's day when you're putting out in the club championships. Let's go and have a look inside. Here we've got Rory McIlroy's mini trophy room in the clubhouse. So we've got some photos of, of his past. Over there we've got all his trophies. And look at this, got the PGA. Ugh! This is why he goes to the gym, so he can lift this thing. Absolutely unbelievable. 
Now this is what I'm excited for, the simulator lounge bar in a golf club. So Hollywood has spent a lot of money on this, great technology. We're gonna go in there and meet Steve, the head pro. Let's go inside. So I'm with Steve the Pro from Hollywood and we have come into the most unbelievable indoor golf place I think I've ever seen in a golf club. I mean, where did this come from? How long has it been here? Uh, we opened 1st of May uh, of this year and uh, yeah, as you said, it's pretty spectacular and it's great to be working here. So to use these facilities now on a daily basis is awesome. The members can use this facility? Oh yeah, absolutely. So um, members, it's not part of the membership, but they can hire the, the room um, privately or individual base for 30 minutes one hour or whatever time they want um, and it's open to the public too so not just members visitors can come in pay a slightly higher price compared to the member and they can uh, use the service too well, speaking about the facilities I think we need to go and have a quick go well. are you going to show well, me around right here yeah yep. it's always good to have fun so this is your more sociable area and uh, there's, there's a lift to bring food down from the restaurant above. We've got a bar and then we've got 50 courses on this HD Golf that you can choose from. So uh, you can play groups of four um, or eight and, and book the room out for yourselves. Um, and, th and there's loads of other games. This is so, what I want to go on, the yeah, dartboard. You're a darts player, are you? Yeah, I just okay. think it's, it's nice yeah. to get people that aren't used to playing golf. I think this is the way we, we get them interested. So we have three bays here. Um, and, you know, we have a fitting service, so we offer uh, fitting um, on four different companies um, and then you can have private lessons and then these are food simulator as well so uh, for example in this bay uh, that have set up Royal Port Roche was added to their course system which uh, was a week before the open uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, Port Roche is 60 minutes away from this golf club. You know you can go in and play the open course now um, yeah and come in with four friends and just play around the golf and yeah. close the door, listen to music on Bluetooth. Um, the sound system is ridiculous and you can have a bit of fun. Yeah. So, um, you know, yes, it's for the more serious golfer, but you can also have that opportunity to come in and have a bit of fun on the course too. But with Richie, another professional at the golf club in the gym. What golf club has a gym and a gym like this? It is state of the art. How long has it been here? Uh, we've just opened about four or five months since May, so I think we're pretty much one of the only golf clubs in the country that has a, a gym on site. Yeah, uh, and as, yeah, as members, you, you can you can join here as well. Yeah, so as a golf member, it's twelve pounds per month, which is very reasonable. Twelve pounds a month. Yeah, so yeah. it works. I know we have some gyms nearby of up to fifty pounds per month. So for a full golfing member, maybe yeah. a thousand pounds, and then twelve pounds per month, it, it, it makes it quite reasonable for them. Yeah, and then you've got the weight section and the cardio section as well. Weight section, cardio section, the uh, functional movement section. Mm -hmm. We have uh, two TPI trainers, Titus Performance Institute trainers uh, qualified, so they can work with some of our members through here and then all the golf side of it, and we really have together to help them with their golf swing as well, which is great. What I would say, I mean, obviously I'm a gym rat, yeah. but um, <laughs> it's very golf specific. Yeah. Some of the stuff, there's, there's bad everywhere there's a, a everything which you see professional golfers doing on your Instagrams and stuff that that is what's going to happen in here so I mean it was obviously influenced by Rory because he's big into his, his gym now hugely it's obviously a passion of Rory's and you know the modern day golfer is, is an athlete now they're yeah. not just you know the speed and power that they have and also not even that but prevention of injury you know so they are doing some stretch and some mobility work and not just just all on the weight side of it, obviously the functional side of it's quite good. Yeah, exactly. So you can really add to your game by doing some just simple strength work and flexibility work. But it's so great that you have it all in one place at the golf club. Yeah. So now you can go and play golf, but you can also do a little gym session at the same time. Yeah. And like like you were saying, you're bringing golf and sport and training together, yeah. which is the way of the world now. Hollywood Golf Club, it's not just a golf club anymore. They now have this amazing gym. Thank you very much for showing me around. No problem, Sophie. Thanks for coming along. 
So that brings to the end my trip to Hollywood Golf Club. What I really like about the place, you know, it was founded in 1904. It's got the history of Rory McIlroy, but they're forever striving for their future with their investment in the juniors and the golf club. They're willing to change and move with the times, which is very much like Rory himself. He's not scared to do something a little bit different. So why not come down here and try out the facilities, play the golf course, enjoy the lovely Northern Irish weather. If you've enjoyed this video, please click the subscribe button below and check out more content on our website.